What's up guys? I'm Drew Warner. Welcome to Alton Motorsports. here. Uh, these are some office buildings that uh, Tommy and Tom have had put in to, you know, basically if they ever want to rent this building out or, or just have, you know, some front office. So we got some of Tommy's suits hung up in the front. Come in this room and this is, uh, this is kind of our conference room. Um, Tommy will use this maybe once or so a week, uh, a couple times a month or so, and, and just kind of have his meetings or, you know, hopefully make some money so we can spend it while racing. And, Kind of have a little background of the race shop out there. And then uh, come back here, these are just some empty offices. Um, this office, we have the iRacing setup in case any of our drivers need to touch up on a few things throughout the week. And come in here and get some practice. We got uh, my office right here to the right. So you'll see in the shop we got uh, pretty much two of everything. So Tommy has, uh, you know, he has two teams that are running out of the shop right now. So these two cars over here, these are for uh, we call them the, the A team. This is the one Mitchell drives, and then these cars over here, these are for the B team, which this is Gage Garcia. He drives this. He mainly drives all the 360 stuff for this year. Uh, he runs the KPCs. Mitchell runs the Maxims. So we have a little bit of a completely different programs there. Uh, here's our machine room. Um, you know, we got a lathe, drill press, stuff like that. We can kind of, this is where we usually are, are fixing parts or building parts or just cleaning stuff up. Uh, we got our engine department over there. Maybe we can start building our own, own engines in house here soon. Uh, over here, so stuff gets wrecked. Uh, you know, we break the shop, tear it apart, we put on these parts. So these are kind of our wrecked parts. We can dissect what's good. We spent a lot, a lot of time over here this year, sadly. Uh, but hopefully that's slowing down here soon. All right, so this is this is the real boss's office. This is Tom's office. Um, he doesn't get to come in here too much now because he's getting to enjoy retirement at the coast. But you can see he can see out and make sure we're all doing our jobs, and uh, he can look around here and see all the his trophies and some of the school memorabilia that, that he's collected over the years. Uh, like this is a, a nose wing from Chase Elliott when, when he drove the 21 car uh, last year and he assigned it and we we'll have to hear for Tom. So this is kind of a, a neat little office. So, you know, I actually made a comment that, that Tommy has two teams here, but actually he has, we have the parts and stuff to run three teams. Um, so. This is where we keep all our overflow of, of parts and stuff we come in as it comes in. Um, we actually have this whole rack is all of our non-wing program. Uh, we don't run it too often, but we're trying to build it up. And then, like I said, this is all for all three teams. I mean, we have front ends, radius rods, drive lines, torque tubes, you name it. Anything that goes on the sprint cars, we have them all throughout these shelves. The, they're getting a little low on inventory, but uh, hopefully like said, that slows down with the wrecking. Okay, so we'll take you through uh, our hauler next. Um, so, you know, we're just a, mainly a California team, so we don't travel a whole lot. We'll do a little bit with when we go to Washington, and uh, you never know, we always try and plan to have a trip back east. So, 
we do carry a lot with us. Um, like this is our go-to cabinet. So our go-to cabinet holds a complete race ready rear end, complete race ready front end. Uh, these are the stuff that, you know, the front end is what you would take to the work area with the radius rod, all that. Like that's stuff that you would do on a nightly basis. You know, you might need, sadly, you might need some of this stuff. So that's what this little cabinet is. And then right behind me, this cabinet is the same thing, but this one's actually more for, um, would be throughout, you know, multiple days of racing. You know, we have a couple front ends set up to where, like on a, if you were wrecked the night before, you could put this front end, take some parts off the other one. And uh, same thing, rear end that missing brakes, but um, could be very easily put together. So we carry three front ends, two rear ends, pretty much at all times. Uh, these these cabinets hold all of our fuel jugs. You know we have to we always have to plan to race at least two nights a week, so we have to make sure and have all of our fuel jugs here and this cabinet. Um, this cabinet here is kind of all of our this fluids. Uh, you know, brake clean, glass clean, SC1. This is what I mean. I think Shane drinks this stuff throughout the night as he cleans everything. Um, batteries for all of our impacts, drills. Tire cabinet um, up here. This stuff's uh, this is like an engine cabinet. It's kind of you know the stacks, miscellaneous stuff, filters, uh, all these whole or torsion bars. This is uh, this is a shock cabinet. Um, you know, a couple different options throughout the night. We can change some stuff. And then all these are just this is our list of spare parts. We keep. Our tie bolts, we usually keep about two to three cars worth of tie bolts, um, nuts, I mean anything you think of, throttle stuff, brake stuff, wing parts, front end, you name it, it's all in here. Uh, here's where we keep uh, spare engines. Uh, we typically have one spare 410, one spare 360 that we try and take every weekend with us. Um, sometimes, you know, something happens, you'll take more for longer races, or if you lose an engine, you know, you might have to go a weekend without that spare. Tire rack, it's pretty empty. Hard to hard to get tires this year for sure. So our tire rack. This is also our gold rack. I feel like this is, this is driver cabinet. This is where he'll kind of spend most of his night getting his helmet ready. Um, you know, making sure all his gear is all good to go for for the night. Enjoyed a little tour here at Tarleton Motorsports, but you gotta get out of here. We gotta get back to work. So, why don't you go up the road to Selzy's shop? Let me know if he's cheating or eating today. See ya.